Hi and welcome to Little Hatchlings Art Lessons. Today we're going to be doing something really fun. We're drawing a German Shepherd. Yeah, we're drawing a cute German Shepherd <laughs> that's laying on the ground with his paws like this. And um, and we have two German Shepherds. So it's kind of fun for us to get to draw a German Shepherd. So grab a Sharpie and some colored pencils and join us. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our future videos. We do a lot of fun animals and other things that are, are fun to draw along with. Okay, so to draw a German Shepherd, we're gonna start right here and we're gonna draw an ear that has like curved edges around a triangle. Okay, and then the other triangle goes off this direction. Well, those look so good, sweetie. Okay, and then you can draw the connector between them. The head. Yep, the top of the head. And then the ears um, have an inside part that we're gonna just follow. That, and then some tufts in there. Okay, that looks so good. Okay, so for the eyes, we're gonna draw a circle right here and a circle right here. And then if you can leave any highlights in there, then I would recommend doing that. So we've got this cool little tuft of different color hair in between the German Shepherd's eyes. And try to leave a little space for an eyebrow if you can. It's just kind of like a dark patch of hair right above its eye. So then the side of the head has these tufts of hair coming out on both sides. And then we've got like these two curves that kind of make a mask and then they just kind of taper off to the side. Cool, that looks good. So for the nose, you doing okay? For the nose, we're gonna make this big nose right here. It's got like a curved line along the top and a rounded line underneath. And then you'll want to leave a highlight in there when you're filling it in and the highlight looks kind of like that. Okay, so from the nose, you're gonna draw two lines going up. And then right here, it goes out and then down. And then same over here, out and then down. And then we're gonna draw the cute little smile right here. Okay, so you draw that, you did that, okay. So come to the middle of the nose and do a upside down rainbow leading up to that or out to that. Perfect. Yours looks good. I like yours. And then this side comes over, kind of flattens out, and then it curves up and it just stops right there. Cute. Oh, yours is so good. I love it. Okay, so the tongue, you make two little mountains and then a curvy line down 
and then it curves back up, kind of an S shape, and then a little line right in there. Oh, cute tongue. Did you know you used to love being licked by dogs? <laughs> you would just let our dog lick you over and over and over. Okay, so now we're gonna draw just a curved line up there, and a curved line up there, and then you fill it in. Okay, so the chin, chins can be kind of hard. So just go a line out like that. And then we're gonna do a curved line out here and then tufts of hair like that. Okay. And then if you want to round out your jaw a little bit, you can. And then you're gonna come on this side and do kind of the same thing, just the opposite way. Awesome. Okay, so now, okay, so we've got different colors on the German Shepherd. So this is gonna be tan with a dark spot right here. This is gonna be dark and the dark spot leads down under here. So right now we're gonna do some tufts of hair that are also gonna be dark. Think of it kind of like it's a lion's mane. <laughs> Cute. Okay, now this also you can think of as a lion's mane, but this one's gonna be gray when we color it. And then this kind of curves up and goes behind, meets up with the back. Awesome. Okay, so now our German Shepherd is sitting. Well, kind of laying, actually. And so his elbow of one of his front paws is right here. And then his front paw is right here. And then it goes back. And then the front paw, you're gonna do three little curves. And then two lines right there. And then it just kind of slowly tapers back, not quite as a sharp of an angle as that, kind of goes out. And then you can draw his little elbow. Good. And then you can draw a little tufts of fur. And then his back. Nice. Okay, so we've got the elbow. Okay, so now the top of that leg just kind of goes behind and that paw is hidden. Okay, and then we've got this back paw that you can see. So you draw a curved line there and then that paw goes like this. Okay, yeah, just kind of round that out. I didn't do that very good. Here, round it out over there too. If you're running out of space, I would suggest your tail go up, like he's wagging his tail. Mine's gonna be a resting tail, so my tail's gonna go like this. So my tail's going out, but yours can go up, like he's wagging it while he's sitting. Okay, so I'm just looking over it. I think that's all good. 
So now we're gonna teach you how to color it. Okay, so we've got grays, tans, and browns that you'll need, and a, a pink for the ears. So grab your all the grays, tans, and browns that you can find, and let's start learning how to draw this. So start with your dark, oh, thanks for the pink, okay. So let's start with the dark brown. We've got one here and one here. So let's both do dark brown together, okay? So the dark is gonna be... This seems like light brown. Um, that's okay, because guess what? Every dog is different, but if you'd like this darker brown, you can. That's a good one. Do you like it? Okay, so one thing before we get too far, I like to leave a highlight along the edges. So let me just show the highlight. So a lighter color brown will go along the edges as kind of like a highlight for the coloring. You can keep doing your dark. Um, so try not to draw up to the edges with your dark brown. Leave those edges free and clear for this pretty like light casting on the edge of the dog. Okay. So when you're coloring, be really careful not to like do really hard strokes. And if you're doing any hard strokes, there's your brown that you follow the direction that the hair is going, sweetie. So like right here, the hair would be going up and out. So try to have your line strokes match what's going on with the fur and the hair, you know? Mm -hmm. Did you notice that our hands all of a sudden got faster and the music got a little bit louder? That's because I turned it to double speed. And I am only doing that during the parts where there's not any specific instruction that I'm giving you. It's not gonna be like that for the rest of the coloring process. I'll give you more instructions soon. But if you get behind us in your drawing, just pause it and get caught up to us. Okay, so now we're gonna draw dark around the smile and in the nose. But then it'll taper up. So right here, it starts dark and then it tapers lighter. So don't draw dark all the way up that nose, just about like that. Okay, and then we're gonna do dark brown down here. And it leads through to here. So I'm gonna take this tan color and draw it inside the ear. Um, and then I'll just put a little bit of pink in it after. If you only have pink and don't have tan, that's fine. Could I just use pink? Um, I think you should try it like this. So I'm only gonna do pink around the edges right here. I'm still going to combine. I like combining colors so it's not too strong of a pink color. Alright, so 
I think I think you should use this tan color for the face, the tan. So you can do the tan throughout the whole face. I'm gonna use this lighter brown because your dark brown is lighter than mine. So you want some contrast, right? Now keep in mind the strokes, remember? You want it to follow the way the hair is going. Okay, so you also want to do that color all down here. But if you don't want to accidentally mess up here, do gray first right here. Maybe sharpen that for me, the gray. This area is gray. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking a darker brown along the edge some places just to add a little variety. And it never hurts to go over it a second time especially when you want it darker. The bottom of the tail is kind of shadow. And I would say the bottom of the feet probably have some shadow too because that's just how it works. And then under here, I'd have some shadow. Definitely this spot. Okay. And then I'm gonna take the lighter brown now. Oh, actually, I'm gonna take the gray. Thanks for sharpening it. So if you haven't done the gray yet, the gray goes right here. You want to shade underneath any of your spots? Mm. Okay, and now I'm going to take my tan, well, not my tan, my light brown. It's almost like a reddish brown. So now I'll just finish off with your lighter brown color, whatever you ended up using. I think I'm gonna put some gray in my tail like you did. I think that looks good.
All right, well, if we finished our drawing before you did, go ahead and pause it and just keep working at it and just make sure you take the time to get it to look as good as you can. Thank you so much for drawing with us. I hope you had fun drawing your German Shepherd. Hope yours turned out good. I'd love to see how yours turns out. Tag me at Sarah Hatch Art Studio on Instagram to see how yours looks. We're gonna do a quick shout out to the kids, the fourth graders at Salina Elementary. Thanks for drawing with us. And um, we're clear over in Oregon on the coast of Oregon. So it was fun to have you guys draw with us over in Utah. Did you have fun? Awesome. Okay, well, we'll see you next time.